Hey, my name is Justin Case, and the sun is going down out here. Uh, Denver is starting to disappear in the distance, but I have got it up. I've got my 18 dBi antenna, 65 degree. It's sitting right next to my Wi-Fi outdoor hotspot. Below it is the 430H, and then there is the 436H to the left. Haven't plugged it all in quite yet, but I had to get it all mounted and configured and made sure everything was going at the right angles and azimuth and elevation and all of that, and then take pictures over the edge of the roof, which freaks me out. But it is finally up, and uh, I was enjoying relaxing and watching the sun go down over here. Ah, good to be done. Okay, let's get downstairs and talk about it. Okay, so that was actually two days ago. Um, it took one day to get CPI approval, and then after that, it took another 24 hours before I started earning rewards. But that said, that last part is really up to you. And what I mean by that is you need to get Helium Geek, you need to get it installed on your phone, you need to add your device and heart it or favorite it. And then that way you'll be able to go down and see your radios. So as you can see, I have my Nova 430 and my Nova 436 listed right here. Um, I needed to see it so I could verify that at the time I had zero heartbeats. And with an hour after I got CPI approval, I had one heartbeat. After that, it was just a matter of waiting 24 hours. That ended around 2 o'clock yesterday, and then by 7, I had made some money. Now, why did I want to go through all of this trouble once again for having a 436? If you recall, getting that 430 up took 16, 17 days. It was a pain, all this difficulty. Well, part of that was due to getting the actual Freedom Fi gateway up and running. And now, because I had that up and running, I didn't really need to worry about that aspect. I just needed to get the other radio up and running. So here's the thing. I learned a few things during this process, and uh, one thing is that rewards are dropping like crazy. I mean... Here is a listing of my rewards uh, from Hotspotty for the last two weeks from the 430. And as you can see, I started at uh, 53,000 mobile, and then it went down to 52,000, then 50,000, then 51,000, then 51,000, then 50,000, then 48,000, and 48,000, and 47,000, and 45,000, 44,000, 44,000, 42,000, 41,000. And it was going to be 40,000 today if, if I hadn't done something. And as of today, now I'm getting 50, 152,000 because I've added that 436H. Um, and I'm going to show you a little more about that. But like I said, things were changing fast. If you go online and look at the helium vote, for example, I was afraid 101 was going to pass. If 101 passed, Reward's going to drop like crazy too. Uh, if 103 passes, which is currently on the docket right now, and uh, I don't know how it's doing, I'm hearing it will probably pass. And I understand why uh, it, it, people are worried about uh, having too much coverage over empty land or empty waters for that matter. And I get that. But if these are going to pass, we're going to lose rewards as CBRS radio owners. Uh, however, HIP 103 will take about 90 days to be implemented. They have to implement all three oracles and then they use all three oracles to determine your rewards. Therefore, I got three months before something bad happens with HIP 103. So I might as well make money while I can. So that being said, I modeled my coverage. And what I realized when I modeled my coverage is as part of one of the hips I think I mentioned is that uh, if you have two antennas and they are covering the same location, uh, the one antenna will get 
a 25% lowering of rewards. So it's only going to get 70% of its rewards. And that's basically what happened to me. Uh, that one uh, antenna that we're talking about, uh, the uh, in this case, the CBRS uh, 430, if I look at it right here, shows I'm only getting 30,000. So that's, if I said I should have got 40,000 right now, that's 25% less. But now I combine that with my new 436H, which gives me 121,000. And combined, it gives me that 152,000. So totally worth doing. I am not saying everybody has this opportunity. I mean, I look around and I see how much coverage I have and I compare that to uh, other hotspots around me and uh, nobody's really filling that amount of space. Uh, but um, if you can, you should go do it. That is my recommendation. And I thought about moving my antenna because like I said, I'm only getting now 30,000. But quite honestly, when I mapped out my other options of friends' houses, uh, I still make more here at my own house than I do putting it somewhere else. Will I eventually put it somewhere else? I mean, maybe if uh, the coverage that they have will ensure that I get data rewards once data rewards are activated again. Now, oh, Let's stop right there because some people are thinking out there that data rewards are never going to be activated and CBRSs should be thrown in the garbage because they provide no value for helium. Uh, yeah, that's not true. First of all, helium decided uh, not to allow them to transfer data right now. And they're also in the process of having their helium CBRS UX beta. So just to be clear here, as it says at the end, um, and I reference that only because CBRS beta eSIMs do not generate rewards for radios. And what I'm trying to get at is this is a beta. Uh, anybody who's part of the beta doesn't get rewards. But what it's telling you right there is that they have built a SIM that will transfer data that will do a good handoff from the big uh, T-Mobile towers to our CBRS cells. And they are testing it right now. And I have read on Discord that they're hoping then to be able to go active with these eSIMs starting uh, in March sometime, so the end of Q1. So these things are happening. And knowing these are happening made me think, okay, let's get that H, um, sorry, that 436H up and running now uh, while I have time to make money because, like I said, with the votes, who knows what's going to happen. Uh, if you may have noticed, people are all considering this. And I say that because here on Helium Deploy, they had their uh, f they had their 436H selling right here for 4500 And it's not available anymore. Uh, there's no, if I even view product, there's, there's no add to cart button. So... If you want to get it, the only place to get it is from Rack Wireless. Now, I have a link to them down uh, in my description that if you're looking to buy it, it is $4,995. $4, they did have a 20% off deal, though, just a little while ago. And if you contact them, you may be able to still get the deal. I don't know. Do try. Uh, if you can, not only can you do that, but using my link below will get you uh, maybe maybe 150 off, somewhere around there. Uh, so a little bit of a, more of a discount. I use those. I ended up uh, paying somewhere around 3850 3, And uh, yeah, happy I did it. So just something to think about right now. If you know that the 436H will make you money now, uh, it's worth doing while things are still high. Uh, the amount of mobile we're earning is dropping fast. And even then, once all of those hips get implemented, it's gonna drop even more. So I say, do it now while you can. I mean, 
Did we miss out by not being part of the Genesis in 2022? Yeah. Uh, did we miss out by not doing this in the middle of 2023? Yeah. Um, are we going to see our rewards not only drop because of the hips that are coming out, but because that we're going to have a halving August 1st, 2024? Yeah. So you got a good six months right now to make some money, maybe only maybe only three months, depending on HIP 103. So stuff to think about. I do recommend you at least go into the planner, do some research, see if it's worth doing for yourself. Uh, and if you like more information like this, again, please do like and subscribe. All right, I'm Justin Case. You all take care.